Welcome to the Wolfram Language in Section 17 of Fast Introduction for Programmers. This section is about numbers and typical calculations with numbers. For example, here is a simple calculation with two numbers. When you do calculations with numbers like these fractions, the Wolfram language does exact calculations whenever it can. The default behavior here is to combine fractions over a common denominator. You can use the n function to get an approximation for that result. This last result is an approximate number because it is specified only to some finite number of digits. The original fraction is an exact number, which means that it is effectively given to an infinite number of digits. You can use the second argument in the n function to indicate the number of digits or precision that you want. For example, this calculates an approximation for pi to a precision of 50 digits. You can also use a special notation with a backquote character to specify the precision of a number in input. For example, this gives a number that is known to 50 digits. Just as exact inputs give exact results, high precision inputs give high precision results. The Wolfram language usually does calculations with whatever precision is justified by the input. If the precision isn't specified, then most calculations are done with the machine precision provided by the hardware of your computer, which is typically about 16 decimal places. The default display shows only the first few digits of machine precision numbers. You can use input form if you want to see all of the digits. The Wolfram language also supports complex numbers. In complex numbers, the square root of minus 1 is represented by the letter i. In output, there is a special character for the imaginary i. Arrays of numbers are also very common for representing data or numerical matrices. For example, this shows a calculation for an array of exact numbers. Since the input was given using exact numbers, the result is also exact. If any of the numbers in the input is an inexact number, then the result will also be inexact, since that is the precision that is mathematically justified by the input. For larger calculations where speed and memory are a concern, calculations with inexact numbers, especially machine numbers, are often more efficient than calculations with exact numbers. For example, an inexact calculation like this will typically be faster and use less memory than a corresponding calculation like this with exact numbers. A common special case in efficient use of computer memory is calculations involving arrays like this one called sparse arrays where most of the array elements are zero. The Wolfram language includes a memory-efficient system for handling sparse arrays based on the sparse array function. Sparse arrays are supported throughout the language and can be used much like other arrays. You can find more information about numbers by choosing Wolfram documentation under the Help menu to bring up the Documentation Center page and clicking the Symbolic and Numeric Computation button, which brings up a menu of links to basic information about numbers and links to information about various types of numerical calculations. For example, choosing numbers and precision in this menu brings up a page with links to information about common operations with numbers.